How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you the correct way how to remove keys off of your M2 MacBook Air or M2 MacBook Pro. 14 inch, 16 inch, shouldn't matter. All of the keyboards are designed the same and if not exactly the same, very, very similar. The only key we're going to go over today are the main square keys. So if that sounds good to you, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project and let's get into the video. The reason we're going over the square keys is because I want to keep this video short and the escape tab, caps lock, shift, space bar, shift, return, delete, power key and the arrow keys are a little bit different than the rest of these square keys and the command option keys are all the same with this design. It's the key that most people are going to be trying to remove. So if you have dust under your key or your key is sticky or stuck, this is how you're going to correctly remove it. I'm going to show you two ways, one with this little prying tool and another way with a playing card and a toothpick. So the first thing that I did is I ran my MacBook down to no battery because anytime you press a key when the power is off, when there's battery left, it'll turn the computer back on. So that gets really annoying. And now we're going to remove one of these square keys. I'm going to do the key key right here. So most people have a playing card and a toothpick laying around. So we're going to pry underneath the key with the playing card. And we're going to use that to get our toothpick underneath the playing card. So I have layered it. You can't really see from that angle, but I've layered it like that where the playing card is under the key and then the toothpick is under the playing card under the key. And I'm going to put pressure down on the top of the key. The reason you do this, you'll see in a moment, it has to do with the design of the key. So I'm going to put pressure on the top and then I'm going to lift up. You should hear a click, pull your playing card and your toothpick out. And then you're going to pull the key towards you and lift it up. As you should be able to see right here, there are four little clips, two on the bottom, two on the top. The bottom two are the ones that you're releasing. They are a press clip. So it's just like a claw that presses down on something. And the top ones are a slide clip. So you want to remove the press clips by prying up from the bottom. And you do not want to pull the slide clips off. You just want to have to, you, you just slide the key after you get the bottom clips off. The reason you don't want to just rip everything up is because you could get underneath the scissor switch. There's little nubs right here. You could rip underneath the scissor switch. I don't recommend that you take off this scissor switch mechanism because it's more of a pain to get off. You can clean this right here by blowing on it, taking a Q-tip, some isopropyl alcohol, or a, a little bit of a toothbrush with some isopropyl alcohol on it and clean whatever sticky goop you have up in here. And you're gonna do that to whatever keys you need to remove. Now to put the key back on, it's the opposite of how we took it off. So we're gonna slide the top down. You see this little gap? There's a little gap here. We're gonna press down and slide it and then press down on the bottom. That slides the top two clips in first and then you press down the bottom two clips that down there. The command key is the same as that key, and I'm gonna show you how to remove it with this tool. These are available on Amazon for pretty cheap. I will put a link to it in the description. It is faster than the other method, but most people won't have this and don't wanna to have to order it. So I'll just show by demonstration. You can see I just had to press on the top. I just twisted it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right to release those two clips. Then I'll pull it and lift it off. This switch is a little bit bigger than the other one, but it's the same design. To put it back on, we're just going to press and slide the top all the way in and then press the bottom and those are clipped into place. One last thing before we go, you do want to make sure you do not press too fast, too strong into the clip with the toothpick, because you can see right there, if I was a little bit more aggressive, I could have broken the scissor switch because I, I have gotten underneath the scissor switch. And you want to make sure that you're not too aggressive to rip off this little membrane switch either. So you want to make sure that you are indeed in between the key and the white scissor switch. It's hard to see from that angle, but you want your toothpick to be in between the black key and the white scissor switch. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys have any other questions, comments, recommendations, or tips on other tools that you've used that have worked for you, or if you just want to say thanks, throw it in the comment section below. 
I do appreciate your time. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.